Hi and welcome to SourceCAD. This video is for users who want to add geometrical dimensioning and tolerancing symbols in AutoCAD drawing. So here we have the sample drawing in 2D and we want to add some feature control frames, datum feature symbols, some symbols like uh, parallelism, flatness and other symbols in AutoCAD. For that, we can harness the property of dimensioning and multi-leaders. So let's start first with datum feature symbols. For that, go to this annotate tab and look for multi-leaders. So here on multi-leader, we can create a style which will represent datum feature symbol. So for that, click on this small arrow. So this will open multi-leader style manager. Now go to new and give this style a name. So I'm naming it as datum. Now click on continue. And now let's go to this leader format. In this leader format, select this arrowhead and change it to datum triangle fill. Now go to this leader structure and make sure that it has only these two points as the leader points here. Now move to content and here in content, make sure this frame text checkbox is selected. Now we are done with this, click on OK and close this. Now let's go to this multi-leader and create a datum symbol. So let's first represent our datum from this point. So click anywhere on this one, give it a position and enter the datum, which is A in this case, and click outside. So our datum is now created. If you want to shorten the length of this line, then you can decrease it after making it all as well. So here we have this datum A. Now let's go to this multi-leader again and click on the other side of this and create second datum, which is B. Click outside. Again, we'll create the third datum, which is C, and that will be created here. So we have created our three datums, A, B, and C. Now let's move on to feature control frame. So a feature control frame can be added on a dimension, and this generally represents the tolerance value. So for that, we need to first add a dimension. So let's start with the dimensioning of the circle. For dimensioning the circle, click on this small arrow and this will open this drop down. From this drop down, select radius. Click on the circle and let's place it here. So here we have this radius of circle, which is 1.0058 or six units, which is clear now. Now we'll add feature control frame along with this. So for adding that feature control frame, click on this dimensions button. So this will expand the panel and click on this tolerance. Now your geometric tolerance panel will pop up. From here, click on this symbol and you'll notice all the GD and D symbols here. So we are interested in the position tolerance. So this is the symbol for position tolerance. You can also add other symbols. So click on this position tolerance. Now add the value of tolerance. In this case, the value of tolerance is 0 0.1. Now, if you want to define the tolerance zone, which is circular or cylindrical in this case, then click here and it will automatically add a diameter symbol. Now we are done with this. Now let's go and add datum symbols. So this is with respect to datum A, which is the primary datum, then datum B, and then datum C. So let's enter all these values here and click on OK. So your feature control frame will now follow your cursor. Move close to this dimension and place it here. So now this dimension is associated with this feature control frame or you can say that this feature control frame is associated with the dimension here which is mentioned as radius 1.0056. Now if you want to modify this, let's say that we want to modify it and add the material condition modifier to this. For that double click and now we can add the material conditions here also. So let's say that for datum A, we want to add modifier as maximum material condition, which is M here, and click OK. So you'll see that the modifier is also added here. Now we have added this feature control frame. Now let's move on to the normal dimensioning. So now we'll add normal dimensioning here. So the first step is adding a linear dimension. So here's the linear dimension. Let's click at this point and then at this point. And here we have this linear dimension. 
which is of 10 units. Also, we need to enter a dimension between these two circles, but obviously we cannot specify this exact distance without having a tolerance value. So we can specify a basic dimension, which is the theoretical exact dimension, which is generally enclosed in the frame. So let's go to this linear again. Click at the center of this circle. Click at the center here also. And I'll add this dimension here. But we need to enclose this inside a frame. So we can create a dimension override. And for creating that, go to this dimension style manager. And now once you are in dimension style manager, you can either modify it, but this will modify all the dimension that includes the second one as well. But we want to create override. So click on this override. Go to text and click on this draw frame around text. Don't change anything else here and click on OK. So here we have a style override which is added now and click on close. Now we need to change this value to that override. So let's delete it and create a new dimension here. It starts from the center ends here and here is the dimension. Now the dimension is a basic dimension which is indicated with this box here. Now let's say that we want to add flatness to this drawing. For that we can again go to this dimensions panel, expand it here, click on this tolerance value and now click on the symbol. From this symbol select this flatness and in tolerance you can add a value of tolerance which is 0 0.05 in this case and click on OK. So this will here add a tolerance value and let's place it here. Now we have added it but we need to associate with it with a plane and in this case we can associate with plane A here. For that we need to add a multi-leader but we need to change the multi-leader style which was data initially we don't want this we want the standard style so click on this standard and now click on multi-leader click at any point here and now click here and here we have it so now this plane is associated with the flatness value of this you can also place it here so that it completely indicates the value which is required and this is now clear now we can also add a parallelism value to this so let's say that we want to indicate that the parallelism between these two planes is 0 0.03 units for that first add this multi-leader but make sure that th this standard is selected so standard style click on multi-leader and click on this plane and place it here so here we have it don't add anything now now go to this dimensions panel expand it click on this tolerance value here click on symbol add parallelism enter the tolerance value of 0 0.03 click on ok and place it at this point so here we have this parallelism of 0 0.03 now this is with respect to datum c so we need to add this identifier symbol as well for that go to this standard style and change it to that datum go to multi-leader click at this point and enter the symbol which is c in this case click outside to complete the geometry so in this way we can add gdnt symbols here in this geometry as well so although these are not directly present in AutoCAD, but you can harness the properties of multi-leader and other values to add it in your drawing. So if you have questions, do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.